Hello everyone and welcome to another Looker Studio tutorial. Today we're going to create an SEO report that differentiates brand performance from generic performance. So we want to create an SEO report that on one side is going to tell you how well your brand terms are doing and on the other side is going to tell you how well your generic terms are doing. Let's go straight to the point. Before we go there, if you find these tutorials useful, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously to create new content. So thank you very much in advance. And off we go. We're going to come here to Looker Studio. We're going to select blank report. And as usual, we're going to add our data source. Now we need our search console. So we are going to find here our search console. I'm going to select my site here, site impression web. This is the configuration so that the data in Search Console align with the data in our Looker Studio report. So I'm going to connect my data source now to my Looker Studio report. Once we come to this page, I'm going to skip the beautification part of adding headers and all these other things. We're going to go straight to the point. We're going to click on Insert. We're going to add a scorecard here. This scorecard is going to be relevant to impressions. We have four metrics that matter in SEO, impressions, clicks, click-through rate, average position. Control C, Control V, Command C, Command V, for those of you who are using Mac, to replicate this. Or if you want, right-click, copy, right-click, paste. All we want here is to have four scorecards that represent all our metrics. So we have impressions, we have clicks, this one we're going to actually modify as click through rate. And this one is going to be average position. Now, this side is going to be relevant to my brand performance. I'm going to style those metrics and I'm going to make them a little bit smaller so that everything fits nicely. I'm going to grab all of them. And I'm going to duplicate all of them. And this side, the right side, is going to be for our generic keywords. Now, let's go to the most important part straight away. How do I di differentiate brand performance from generic performance? We need to do that by including filters. right? So I'm just going to select this scorecard. We said that the scorecards on the left are going to represent the brand performance. Under the setup column, we're going to go all the way down. And under filter, we're going to add a filter. We're going to name this brand queries. We're going to give it a name. And we're going to include only queries that contain. And here, you can basically type your brand name. You can also use custom regular expressions. You can also use breakers. Now, to simplify things, I'm going to say X, Y, Z. So, essentially, I'm creating a filter that only includes the performance of queries that include X, Y, Z, which is part of my brand name. And I'm going to apply this filter to all the scorecards on the left-hand side, right? So, one by one, we're going to come here and we're going to add this filter here. And we need to do vice versa for the queries, basically, the generic query. So this side is going to report on my brand performance. Therefore, I'm only going to include queries that are relevant to my brand name. This side is going to exclude, essentially, my brand queries. And the same drill here, I'm going to select the first scorecard. I'm going to add a filter. I'm going to create a new filter in this case. I'm going to say non-brand, non-brand, and I'm going to say that the query here does not contain, again, if you want, you can go with regular expressions and so forth, but I'm just going to go with the easiest option. So, okay, here we can say exclude the query that contains X, Y, Z. So the first option is exclude here. And the rest of the, the configuration is the same. So I'm going to create this filter. Okay, save. 
And now this filter, I'm going to apply it to all of my scorecards on this side. Now, slowly and steadily, we're going to create a report that's going to, to look much better. Let's click on Insert, and I'm going to add a combo chart here. This is what I like to do in my SEO reports. And for this combo chart, the dimension is going to be the date. The first metric is going to be clicks. The second metric here is going to be average position. Now, I'm going to sort everything by date in an ascending order from January all the way to December. And I'm going to go on style. The series number one, which is the clicks, are going to be bar chart on the left axis. The series number two, which is the average position, is going to be a line and it's going to be measured on the right axis. And what I always do, just because I'm OCD, is to remove the grid lines. So this is now essentially a chart that represents the performance of my brand queries. Now I'm going to copy this entire chart. I'm going to, to move it here. And we need to add these filters in these charts, right? So I'm going to select the first one. Under the setup column, I'm going to add a filter, which is the brand queries. And for the second chart, under the setup column, I'm going to add this filter, which is the non-brand queries. So now we have the trend lines, basically, of brand queries and the trend line of non-brand queries. Uh, now, what this report is missing is a little bit of beautification. I would say it would be, it would be nice. And we're going to make it actually look look very nice. So let's take the time actually and do that. Right. So next thing, insert. Let's add a header basically here on the top for the report. And this header, I'm just going to span it across the board. I'm going to make it blue. Let's click insert and add some text basically here. And I'm going to call it brand. VS non VS generic performance VS generic SEO performance. I'm going to select now this text, and from the right hand side, I'm going to make the letters white. I'm going to make everything a lot bigger, bolder. Align them in the middle, spread them out. Maybe they are too big. Let's make them thirty pixels okay and what we need here is also a date range control maybe some filters for the country also so i'm going to click on insert i'm going to add a date range control here so now we can select the date range so let's say this year to date for example i'm going to click on insert i'm going to add another drop down list basically filter here and from the right hand side i'm going to customize it to filter by country i'm going to copy paste it one more time and i'm going to add another filter for the device and maybe copy paste it one more time and i'm going to add another filter for the query and also to beautify things a little bit more going to grab them all I'm going to align them in the middle of the screen and now we are not done yet we have a couple more things actually that we need to to insert let me copy this rectangle and I'm going to add it here as a header just for the people who are our stakeholders they need to understand what is what so I'm going to add basically this here as a header and I'm going to copy the text also. And I'm going to add the text also here. Make it a little bit smaller. And this is our brand performance. To define it maybe a little bit more, we can say brand where is performance that we have here and we're going to grab this header and this text we're going to copy it we're going to add it here 
and this is our generic queries performance. And let's do one more thing, actually. So we're going to do a couple more things. We have a table that represents clicks and average position over time for brand queries and also generic queries. Let's grab all of these scorecards, go on the right hand side under comparison date range, click on the drop down menu here and add the comparison with previous period. So now we compare everything with the previous period. So now we have a comparison also, whatever the date range we're going to compare with the previous period. Now the report as usual, we don't have a lot of space. So let's make it bigger. Let's go to page, current page settings, style. Let's make this bigger 3000 pixels. Let's add a table. So we're going to click on insert. We're going to add a table. We're going to drop it here. And this table is going to report on our brand term. So we're going to change the dimension to query. We're going to add all the metrics that matter for SEO. So impressions, clicks, click through rate, and also average position. And we are going to stay here under setup and I'll assign here the brand query filter. So here we're going to have only keywords that include X, Y, Z, right? So that's basically what we're going to include here under this report. And let's say that we want to see only the top 20, let's say brand terms. So under the setup column, under pagination, we're going to select here 20. So this is going to be the top 20 brand terms. Let's also under the summary row click, show summary so we can see the, the cumulated performance. And maybe one more thing we can do is to click on the chart, select the third option so we can convert this into a heat map. So things are easier to, uh, to figure out. And also one more thing that we can do under the setup column and under here, the sort. Okay, here we go under sort. We're not going to sort by impressions, but we're going to sort by clicks. And we're going to sort the brand queries by clicks. The same thing now I can do with generic keywords. So I'm going to copy paste the entire table. I'm going to drop it here. And all I have to do is to change this filter from brand queries to non-brand. So now I'm going to have also a list of non-brand queries that rank for, for my website. I'm going to also add another header basically here. And I'm going to say that this is top 20 brand terms, top 20 brand queries. We can make the table slightly bigger here. We're going to copy also the header. And these are the top 20 generic queries. And we can make this table slightly bigger also here. Okay, so if you want now, you can add a breaker in the middle, or I'm just going to do something different maybe here. We're going to add a rectangle. This rectangle, I'm going to make it very light gray. I'm going to right click, I'm going to say order and send to back. And this is going to be my background for the brand performance. And it's going to span until the middle of the screen here. And then my generic performance is going to be on, on white background. So it's easier also to, to figure out what is what. And that's it. Let's actually view what we did. So we have here a brand versus generic SEO performance report. On the left hand side, we have the performance of our brand terms, top level performance, impressions, clicks, click through rate, average position. We have the trend line, clicks versus average position over time. And then we have a table with the top 20 brand queries that includes 
a certain string of keywords. On the right hand side, we have the equivalent for all the generic terms. We have the trend line of all the, the generic terms. And we also have a table of generic terms that generate clicks for our website. So this is a brand versus generic SEO performance report that you can potentially copy if you find it useful for your business. Why I recommend you to have a Looker Studio report like this, because very often, and especially if you are a big brand, you are getting a ton of traffic from brand queries, and this doesn't necessarily represent your SEO performance. It represents mostly your brand performance. The true SEO performance is the performance of generic queries, queries that are relevant to non-brand terms. Now, obviously, this report, you can beautify it a lot more. You can align things better. You can make the colors better. You can make it awesome and amazing for your brand. But in any case, I hope that this logic of having brand queries and generic queries next to each other and the logic of how you can create a report like that was useful. If it was, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day in any time zone.